Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'd like to welcome all the new subscribers and the continued supporters of the channel. Thank you very much. And a very big thank you for allowing me to share part of your day. So today we're going to work on the grill and this is a major undertaking, <laughs> kinda. But anyway, so uh, what we've got is it's the grill for the M. I've got two holes up here that need to be repaired. When I do, uh, I'll show you how I do those. It's very similar to how I repaired the seat mount. Um, this side of the grill here is pretty good. I do have some repair down here at the bottom. It's supposed to be a roll all the way down and it's not and it's kind of mangled pretty good right there so we're going to hammer and dolly that and get that ready. And then on the other side, I got a couple small dents up here that I'm going to hammer out. I have the same issue with a with a corner down here. Um, then the worst part is right here, trying to get the ribs to the grill back straight like there should be. But I'll explain to you if you haven't seen them. Uh, I have them. They're available through Red Power Magazine. They have an ad in there. But it's the dollies, and these things are really nice and they're made and they're good quality made solid steel made in america thank goodness but anyway the dollies are used to reshape all the ribs in the grill now this one that looks like an h small apart fits on the outside of the rib like so and you can use a hammer which i use just a regular body hammer with a flat pick on the end and I'll take and put this up against the rib and then I will hammer from the inside to try and bring this shape back. And also too, uh, th these are really good for doing the outside edges and the contour. Now this one with the small uh, profile here actually fits on the inside and you hammer it from the inside to bring the shape back out this way. And this one, the larger one, which is, kind of looks like a heel dolly or a toe dolly. This is for the larger ribs. It will fit here like so, and then you use that to straighten. Now, when I'm trying to get the outer part right here, what I'll do is I'll put the dolly like so, and then I will hammer, and I'll show you kind of, kind of quickly, but uh, tools I'm using today are, like I said, the dolly set, pair of china locks to try and squeeze these back down flat and then I can go back through and work them with this to get them uh, more shapely or better. Uh, T-post dolly for rolling the edges on the back of it and then just a regular ball peen hammer if needed and two two by fours. And two by fours are going to be my work table because right here in the center, this is like caved in. And so, what, what you do, turn it around this way. Okay. Your grill is going to sit like this inside the two by fours, like so. And then, what you would do is you take your dolly. And I can see right here where, it, where it's messed up. You take your dolly and put it there and you would just take it and just tap it down. And it's, you have to forgive me for the noise, but take it and go. That's all you do to try and shape it. Uh, it's still a little high right, I mean, a little low right there. So then you flip it over. You take your time, you do it slowly, don't rush it because you can overstretch it and then you have to start all over again. But anyway, just that little bit has brought this back out some. Got a little bit more to go, but it, like I said, it, it's low here and high here, which what I mean is 
when I say low, this piece has been pushed in, and if it's, I say high, what I mean is it's been pushed out. So what I'll do is I'll get this um, straight, and then what I'll do is work the side, both sides. I'll take and put the dolly behind it, hammer down, or hammer it back down, and this side would be the opposite. The dolly would be here, and I would hammer it from the inside out to get it out. So. Um, that's it of pretty much what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and try and get all the ribs and stuff straight. And once that's done, then I'll come back and we'll cut this out and weld the new piece in and then weld these up. And that should be it. So thank you for that. And when I get to this point, we'll come back. Uh, we'll see you soon. Okay, um, I'll go into a little bit more detail. I just got a text from a uh, fellow YouTuber, and you know who you are. So uh, I've got this set up, um, and what I'm going to do is show you the easiest way. You can see right here, this one's already starting to look really good. So what I'm doing, and a lot of people don't show you everything, but I'll do my best to show you. All right, I I'm putting this part right here, up under up under the grill and I've got this braced and what I'm going to do is take put this dolly right here and what I'm going to do is drive this hammer this dolly between the rib that's already set up in this other die and that's going to get you your straight edges so please forgive the noise but it's just like this the dolly this way and you can see it's already starting to take shape and see if we can roll this piece in right here it'll be all right move it back so you can see I can see right now I'll be building something else pretty soon to hold this in place or I might just take a couple of screws and stuff. But anyway, let's get back to it. Sorry about the shaking of the camera. All right, so what I'm doing is like I said, uh, I've got it in this dolly to form it. And I'm just taking this one. And it's working. So this is the easiest way for you to, to do it. And by doing it this way, you're also gonna get your spacing right between it. So I've got to finish this one. And then I'm gonna work all the way down. I've got to finish all the way across here. I've got a little bit more to go here. This needs to be, this right here needs to be rounded out just a little more. So, but that's it. Uh, I hope that helps out how these dollies work a little bit better. So uh, just stay tuned and we'll come back when we're finished up. Thank you. Okay, we're um, moving right along with the grill. I've got most of this done. It's still just like a few small little dings and kind of a little wavy. So I just, I'm just going to continue to work with the dollies until I get it to where I'm satisfied with it. But to save time on the video, we're gonna go ahead and replace the lower grill insert and we're going to weld these holes up um, and what I've got is a piece of copper and I've shaped it to where it will fit inside the grill like that and I'm going to clamp it to the inside and then we're going to weld you know we'll do a little spot little spot little spot keep going I'll show you exactly how I do it but we're going to do that on both sides to get those filled up and we're going to get this welded in and like I said, it's coming along, but it, it's a slow process. And I do mean slow because the way this is, you can stretch it and make it come out 
a little further, like right here. This one's out a little bit further. But uh, like I said, this side was really good. So uh, I'm just going to use this as, as a guide to go by. And if I can get it close to this, then we're going to go. I mean, but I still want it to look good. I don't want dents or dings or waves in it because once it's painted and clear coated, it sticks out like a sore thumb. So anyway, without further, let's go on and get this thing cut out. I've already marked right here where I want to cut it out. So we're going to take a little cutoff wheel. Where did I lay it? Right here. And we're going to go ahead and cut this piece out. We'll get the screen in and get everything marked and then we'll finish cutting it and then we'll get welded it, get it welded up. So let's go. I think it, it must have been hit because as soon as I did, it kind of popped back up. So, excuse me, maybe that's a good thing. Well, bad piece. Now, in order to make this work correctly, you get this in here, like so. We're going to tighten this up. Put the new piece in and get it lined up in the middle. Like so. Now, granted that I'm off on this side a little bit because I still have this brace. On this side, that brace or a little hold down for the screen does not exist. I'm going to take the ones out of the other one, the donor grill I have out there, and use it. In the, but what I'm going to do is just get this thing close. But the most important thing is to make sure that you are straight up and down with this. And right now we are, so let's mark this and get it cut and get it put back in and see where we are. Uh, Sharpie in my pocket. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my line, but I'm gonna cut a little over to make sure I can always come back and, and just trim it up a little bit. It's better to have a little extra than not enough. So that's about it make sure you have a nice straight line always use a square
I did measure or mark over a little bit, so I've got some stuff to work with. All right. pieces of metal then you place this behind it clamp them together and then you just weld up the spot but it also works for doing panels too like this all right let me get this cleaned up and squared away and before I weld it in I'll come back and start the uh, video up again and uh, we'll get it done stay tuned for that okay I've got everything set uh, I'm holding it in place with two clamps I'm gonna spot this side and then get this side over here straight and then spot this side and then just work back and forth there's gonna be a little bit more work here to try and bring this back out and get it round or like it's supposed to be but I am centered. This piece here is directly in the center with that straight edge. Line them up and that's it. We're good with that. So let's go ahead and get this tacked in so we can get this uh, part of the reel finished up. Cause like I said, it's the more I do, the more I find. So let's get it done.
take this out of the way now. I did that is so that the the pliers will clamp flat. All right. all this up later but like I said it needs a little bit more work right here and I've got to weld this up on on the top as well but I wanted to go ahead and get the up here welded up so you can see exactly how that's done then I think that's going to finish it because like I said it's just a lot of fine detail that I've got to do you know, just finishing up, making the, sure that the ribs and the grill are straight and stuff like that, and all the little minor things, but it's just, well, I've showed how the dollies and stuff work and how I'm doing the repairs, and that should, should cover pretty much about everything. But if there's something I missed or something else that you wanna see, just let me know, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get this set up. I'll show you one right quick. Take a piece of copper, it's gonna go over here, like so. I'm gonna take a pair of clamps. piece of copper is right there and I'll show you all I'm going to do is just do little spots like what I did with the uh, with the center insert until it, it's filled up so but you want to go from side to side you, if you try and get too much on one side at one time or do too much on one side at one time it's going to get really hot and you're going to make the hole even bigger so you want to space it around excuse me uh, space it around to try and get away from the heat and like i said it will require some shaping and all that stuff but at least it's repaired with metal
All right, there's one side. That copper stinks. But anyway, let me take the clamp off. And there it is. And you'll do the same thing. Just grind it down. And you can see it's a little low right here around where I filled the hole, but you can take your hammer or you can use a flat pick or you can use a regular pick hammer and you can work this back up and get it to where it is. And if you need to go back, now that you've got good solid metal there now, you can just do little bumps or little tacks with the welder until you get it and then you just shape it down with the little grinder and a 36 grit disc. But anyway, uh, that's it. I'm gonna finish all this stuff up and I've got a lot to do. They're supposed to be here Thursday to finish up media blasting my tractor. So I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that the information has helped. And if you have any questions at all, please don't uh, hesitate to leave them in the comments or or, I mean, either way is fine, so, and I'll be glad to answer them. But basically, that's it. This is how I'm repairing the grill. And like I said, thanks for watching. Thanks for your subscription. And as always, thank you very much for sharing time with me or allowing me part of your day to watch me do this stuff. So, thanks again. We'll see you next time from Old Red Tractors.